So this is video three on creating this TIE fighter here. Uh, we just finished off on creating the major portion of the wing. So we're doing this inside detail. We laid a sketch down on this face right here. And I'm just going to grab my line tool. And again, I'm going to make this line 0.265. I'm going to dimension this line 0.15 to stick with that same spacing from the top here. I'm going to grab that line tool and come here and escape. And I just want to verify with my dimensioning, even though I match that angle, it should be. I'm going to go to my dimension tool and just make sure that I'm at 110 degrees here, which I am. Sometimes, even though you're doing it right, it's best to double check. Uh, I'm going to grab my construction lines and I'm going to set up those same construction lines that I have in the previous videos, both horizontally and vertically, so I can mirror this around. So I'm going to click on my mirror, my vertical line, escape my mirror tool going back to it. I'm going to click on my horizontal line here. I'm going to mirror down. And then I'm going to extrude this 0.1. So we can see that wing taking shape. I'm going to come to the back side of this. I'm going to place a sketch. Uh, I'm going to go to my center point rectangle tool. In the middle here, I'm going to go 0.25 by 0.25. I'm going to extrude that 0.25 inches as a removal so we can see that cut going in. And what that'll do is when I set up my, uh, my wing or my main portion of this on this part that we're going to create next, we can see we have an import there. Now, as you're designing your own, you could repeat that same process for that interior design detail of the inside of the wing that TIE fighters have, which would be these lines coming into the center. Uh, I've chosen, again, not to just for the fact of 3D printing. Uh, but you could lay that sketch down and do that same detail here. Uh, my suggestion then would be to thicken your wing here, uh, larger than an eighth of an inch, uh, depending on your printer, so you don't have to use support material.